So what do you guys think of the uh, Fuji X100V? I quite like the look of it. So I've come out today with my F and I'm gonna have a little shoot around and maybe think of some reasons why I need to get the V. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. the way that I can use the D-pad for changing my ISO really quickly. The drive is on there already. I can change the focus modes. I don't know if you can see that through this uh, GoPro. I kind of like the D-pad. I think I'll miss the D-pad when it's gone. So the other thing I don't like is this ISO dial, uh, the ISO shutter speed dial. Um, when you want to change your ISO, you've got to literally lift up the, this disc on here and you have to keep hold of it, keep it pulled up while you're turning. And it, to me, it really is fiddly and I don't really like it. That's the only thing about this uh, F that I don't like. Whereas on the V, you pull it up, it stays up and that's brilliant. That will do for me. X100F a great camera still. Of course it is, it's a brilliant camera. There are a few little things I don't like about it and it seems to me that the V that they've just introduced and it's going to be out in a month or so has kind of addressed all those little things. So what do I like? using the X-T3 quite a lot and a lot of that was if I went out on the street and I stayed till it got sort of dark twilight or you're in some dark areas the focusing is so quick now with this it's not as good and now apparently they've upped it like I don't know five stops did they say something like that and I'm like that sounds mega to me so that's a good plus side for me and I think really maybe part of this video is me talking myself into getting the V. What do you think? I mean, I do love shooting in like tight spaces, say you're in a coffee shop or somewhere, because the leaf shutter, it's just so quiet and no, no one, nobody hears you taking a picture. And they're introducing a tilt screen, so that's a really good thing for me because I do use it. And with a leaf shutter as well, you can be in inside somewhere quiet and you know, you can have that tilt screen down and you can easily take shots I mean you could I presume it's touch screen so I presume it's a bit like the X-T30 and um, the X-T3 where you can touch and shoot on the screen so to me for street photography that's fantastic and uh, man I really want one <laughs> do you really want one put it down in the comments if you're really wanting one but you're trying to think of a good excuse not to have one I mean I've just come out down the coast it's a nice cold fresh morning with some really nice light and I thought I'd uh, come along with this and get some nice shots uh, photographing in colour as well um, it's a fantastic little camera and I do really love it but I'm really liking that uh, I'm really liking that V I really really am tempted to trade this and get one what's your opinions put it down in the comments let me know So the upgrades on the uh, X100V, an X-Trans CMOS 4 image sensor, a new F2 lens, upgraded OVF and EVF, an ND4 replaces the old ND3, a two-way tilting screen, 17 film simulations and 4K video. Man, I'm so tempted to get one of these. So how am I going to get one? Well, you'll have to wait and see. Anyway. 
Until next time, I'll see you on the streets.